Hi kids, how are you today? My name is Shannon Barkey, and I am a three-time Olympian, two-time Olympic medalist in the sport of mogul skiing, the coolest sport of all time. And I am so excited to be here with you today and read my book, Mommy, Why Is Your Hair Pink? But before we get started, I have some really cool things that I wanna show you. So I was able to win two Olympic medals. One of my medals, my bronze medal that I won in Vancouver in 2010 is actually at the United States Olympic Olympic and Paralympic Museum in Colorado Springs, but I have the other one. So this is my silver medal that I got to win in 2002 here in Salt Lake City. And so it's really, really cool. So check it out. It says light the fire within, that's the front, and this is the back, and it's just really fun, and it weighs a pound and a half. So one day I hope to meet you and you get to try it on. So the second coolest thing is I have my little girl Zoe who I wrote my book with. Zoe, say hi. Hi. <laughs> she is so cute, and mm -hmm. she's seven, and I got, to write, uh, I got to write this book with her, and it was really, really meaningful to me. So should we get started? I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thanks, Zoe. All right. Okay, so my book, Mommy, Why Is Your Hair Pink? I mean, is it just the most fun? All right, and one of the coolest things about writing a book is you get to dedicate it to somebody. And so this is my dedication page that I wrote to my mom, and it says, to my mommy, Trilla. And she has a funny name, I know, but it's Trilla. Because I know that under your everyday clothing is a bedazzled superwoman outfit. You are my hero. Love, Shannon. So it's always fun when you get to dedicate your book to somebody. All right, so let's get started. Page number one. When I was a little girl, I wanted to try everything and dream big dreams. I loved playing tag, dancing to music, and playing make-believe in the forest. Most of all, I loved sports. I loved the air in my face when I was running fast or doing handstands. My excitement soared whenever I kicked a soccer ball high into the net. My most favorite feeling was when my skis were gliding fast over snow as I raced down moguls on high mountain peaks. I wanted to be the best skier in the world and dreamed of one day competing in the Olympic Games. I had one teeny tiny problem when I was playing sports. I was the only girl and that made me different and a little scared inside. How could I prove that I was just as strong and fast as the boys? One day I had an idea. What if I always added a little splash of pink? Yes, that was it. Pink reminded me that I could do anything. I had pink girl power. A little pink here, touch of pink there, splashes of pink everywhere. Finally, the time was here. My dream was coming true. I had trained my whole life to be able to compete in the Olympic Games. But I had one teeny tiny problem when I made the Olympic team. I was afraid I would fall and that people would laugh at me. Was I really good enough to win an Olympic medal? I sure wished I had a little splash of pink to remind me of my pink girl power. But it was nowhere to be found on my Olympic uniform because all the uniforms are red, white, and blue, right? Then I had an idea. It seemed like a crazy, outrageous, fun, and wild idea. What if I made my hair pink? Could I? Would I? Should I make my hair pink? Yes, 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 that was it. And this is one of my favorite pictures in the whole book. Out of the starting gate I flew. I skied like never before, winning two Olympic medals. I was so happy that I had trusted my pink girl power and shown everyone that I could be different and be one of the best skiers in the whole wide world. So what was my next big dream? I wanted to have a loving family, 
So I married an amazing man, and soon I was a mommy to a little girl named Zoe B. Happy, whom you met. And she's sitting right here. There she is, my cutest. <laughs> Zoe dances through life with happy energy and wild curiosity. <laughs> Just like me, she wants to try everything and dream big dreams. She leaps and spins in her sparkly tutu. She does handstands with her tippy toes high in the air. She creates beautiful pictures with bright paint. And on snowy mountaintops, we laugh together, trying to get winter bluebirds to land on our fingers. One day when we were outside catching snowflakes on our tongues, Zoe asked me a question that not many mommies hear. Mommy, why is your hair pink? This was an important question, so I gave Zoe a big hug. I have pink hair to show the world who I am and that it is okay to be different. I can be perfectly me and nobody else. Most importantly, pink reminds me of a special loving light deep within me that helps me make my dreams come true. Zoe reached out and touched my hair, then raised her eyebrows with eyes wide open. What does the light do, mommy? My light is full of love for you and our family. And it reminds me that I love myself too. My light brings me courage when I feel afraid, happiness when I feel sad, and energy when I want to give up. It gives me my pink girl power. Zoe smiled. Do I have a special light, Mommy? Oh yes, Zoe. I can see it in your eyes and your smile, and I feel it when you give me a hug. Mommy, can I see my light? Yes, you can. Your light will shine the brightest when you need it the most. You will see it when you try new things, like ice skating or riding a bike, when you make new friends, and when you travel to faraway places. Your light will remind you to always love yourself and that you have everything you need inside of you to make your dreams come true. Zoe nodded, but I knew that she had one teeny tiny problem because she asked, Mommy, what color is my light? I love all the colors in the rainbow. Do I have to choose just one? Zoe, I think if you love all of the colors in the rainbow, then your light could have them all. Zoe smiled and twirled around with her face up to the sunshine and her hands spread out wide. I am Zoe. I want my special light to shine extra bright for everyone to see. I have rainbow girl power. The end. Isn't that the cutest? Isn't she awesome? <laughs> Well, thank you so much for having me and allowing me to read my book with you. Come here, Zoe. Mm. Reading is so important, and we like to do it every single night before we go to bed. And right now we're reading Harry Potter, so that's been really fun. So I hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you for allowing me to be here. And I wish you all the best, and always remember that you have everything inside of you to make all of your dreams come true. So have a good day, and bye!